10, 11, 12, whatever it is. Always remember that it's your attitude, not your aptitude, that will bring you high up to new altitudes in life. Have a good attitude, positive attitude. You might be the best hockey player, the best soccer player, the best basketball player, whatever it is, but you got a crappy attitude, it's not gonna help you. Have the positive attitude, it'll bring you up higher. The three Ds, drive, dedication, determination. Drive, dedication, determination on your goals and your pursuits, whatever you want to be, don't ever quit. The three E's, be energetic, be enthusiastic, and be committed to excellence. Don't accept mediocre for yourselves. Be committed to excellence. Rise above, rise high. Not mediocrity, not all kiam, it's okay. Kick it up a notch, kick it up a notch. Be committed to excellence. The five P's, you're all very special people. The Creator doesn't make junk. You're all very special. And you're going to find your purpose in life. A purpose in life. You have a role to play. You have a job to do. You have something to fulfill. You have a purpose. Be patient when you find that purpose. Be patient. It might come now. It might come down the road. Have pers persistence and perseverance. Go through those hardships. You might have an alcoholic home, you might have a drug infested home, you might have only one parent, you might have no parents. Persevere and persist. Find that role model, find that support system you need to go through those challenges. Because there's going to be many of them. Go through that racism, go through that discrimination. Perseverance and persistence. The last one is pride. Be proud of who you are. Don't be ashamed to be a First Nations person. We're breaking down that stereotype. The stereotype of Indians are dumb, stupid, lazy, drunk on welfare. That's not it anymore for us. We're becoming educated, we're becoming stronger. We don't drink, we don't do drugs. We're healthy and we're leading in a healthy, good way. And our kids are going to follow us and our little cousins are going to follow us. All our relatives are going to follow us. You don't have to be elected to be a leader. So lead in a good way. That pride. And don't be ashamed to raise your hand in class. Don't be ashamed to challenge. Don't be ashamed to say, hey, we're First Nations people and we're not the burden on taxpayers here in this country. We shared a lot of land and resources. Billions upon billions we're sharing. And we're supposed to mutually benefit from that land and resource wealth together. Not six versus 63rd. We've come through the residential schools, we've come through cultural genocide, we've come through the Indian Act. And when our old people sing that honor song with that drum, that victory song, we're victorious because we're not survivors of residential school anymore. We're starting to be thrivers and we're going to be positive role models for all of our people and into the future. So keep it up, keep it on that good road. Let's do this in a good way.